Hi, I'm Woody. I'm a program manager here at Azure Quantum. My team works on the software part of the total Azure Quantum stack. Today, we're going to go into the Jupyter Notebooks feature of Azure Quantum. But before we do, I'd like to set a little bit of context. To use Azure Quantum, you'll need a subscription and a workspace. Within that workspace are your programs and your providers. The providers are the ones that actually provide the quantum computers that your programs will run on. And your programs can be written in Jupyter Notebooks. Now that we've set the context, let's jump in and see how to use Jupyter Notebooks. The first thing to do is go to the Azure portal and click on a quantum workspace that you've already created. Then go on the left side blade and click Notebooks. This will bring up the sample gallery. As you can see, there's a number of different samples for you to choose from and get started immediately. There's a tab both on quantum computing and quantum-inspired optimization. Finally, you can come over and look at the My Notebooks folder. And within that, you can also add your own notebooks. Here, we'll add a new notebook. And all we have to do is give a file name and then say Create File. Once that's done, it'll open up a new notebook and you'll notice that your subscription ID and resource group are already put in within the notebook. Now let's go back to the sample gallery and take a sample that's already there and put it into the My Notebooks folder. Let's do the Hello World Q Sharp example. You'll notice that I can click on a different provider. Right now we have IRQ and Quantinium. Let's go with IRQ. I click the button to copy it to My Notebooks and it immediately is put into that folder and opened up for me to run. This is just like any other Jupyter Notebook. We can go down to code cells and start running them immediately. I encourage you to go through this particular notebook as it shows you how to create and connect to an Azure Quantum workspace and then runs a simple program on an Ion Cube simulator. At the end, you can actually look at a histogram and see the results that you've done. I hope you enjoyed today's video. You can learn more about Azure Quantum in our other videos and the following links. Take a look at the Azure Quantum documentation. Look into the samples that we've built for Azure Quantum. And you can follow the latest news in our technical blog. We can't wait to see what you're going to do with Azure Quantum. Thanks for watching.